I think this week's short stories are valuable for a lot of reasons, but most importantly, the messages of the stories had a lot of meaning, and I think that's what made them valuable. Um, both stories pointed out how superficial and vain people can be, uh, even some Christians. In Revelation, O'Connor creates a scenario that reveals the harsh reality of this type of thing. The main character is superficial and judges everyone by their appearance and even by the color of their skin, which to me makes her a hypocrite to Christianity. The moral of this story is you shouldn't judge anyone um, regardless of their appearance or social status or whatever and that we're all equal in God's eyes. I find the beauty in this story to be um, the style and the way that O'Connor tells the story, the context, and the message behind the story. Even though O'Connor has a little bit of an eccentric style of writing, I really admire her blunt way of revealing the harshness of, of the reality of how superficial some people can be and how they judge people by their appearance or social status and things like that. I like the way the main character just kind of nonchalantly uses the n-word and treats people um, who she thinks are inferior to her. I think everyone should read this story, especially people who are judgmental and superficial like the main character, Mrs. Turpin. The story makes such a great point and teaches a lesson about how every everyone should be viewed and treated as an equal um, because regardless we eventually are all going to be judged by God one day and superficial things won't matter then. Tolstoy's story was short and sweet but had so much meaning to it. I really love the moral of this one about you know turning the other cheek when someone does does you wrong. I find the context of it beautiful also. Um, when Tolstoy wrote this story, he had converted to Christianity and gave up his privileged, wealthy life. And I can't think of anyone who has or would be willing to do something like that. And this is why I have so much admiration for this guy. And he's such an inspiration. I really wish there were more people in this world like him. He also was very generous, especially to peasants and less privileged people. Um, so this is basically the context in a nutshell. And I think in a way he relates himself to the wealthy, good-natured master in this story. Um, the story is important to today's culture because it teaches us um, as God's people, how to handle these types of situations, um, and instead of being vengeful when people do us wrong, um, we should turn the other cheek and let God deal with them. Both stories had significant meaning and reflected Christian morals and beliefs, and I think it would be beneficial to anyone who reads them.